Hello, hello. This is Josh with Dog Psychology 101. Welcome to another episode of Fence Talk. Different fence, same talk. We're back here with the horses today. But uh, so I've got hit with this question and uh, I guess apparently this is a, a common question. Um, so we'll get to the, the basics of what I can do. Thank you, sir. Um, why does my dog take forever to poop outside or they maybe they're not pooping or peeing outside and then when they, when they come back inside, they seem to want to go to the bathroom in the house. No, no, no. Believe it or not, I don't believe most dogs, it's not that they want to poop in the house, but they're confused or they've created a habit for one reason or another. And in my opinion, most of the time this happens, how you get there, really don't worry too much about that. It's, it's how we're gonna get back from it and what to pay attention to. Most of the time is when you go outside, your dog in most cases is overstimulated by what's going on in the environment. They want to smell and potty, or not, obviously not potty, that's why we're here. They're wanting to chase the squirrels, you know, look for rodents, bark at the neighbors, go uh, do territorial dog hunting, you know, anything except for potty state of mind. And so their entire experience outside is in a, in a totally different mindset. Kind of like us, if, if you're excited about something, your urge to use the restroom is probably not that strong. And so for me, would you stop working? You don't look very busy to me, Josh. All the animals, just the dog, just the horses, yeah. So. What's that smell? I would go out if you're not, starting with a, probably a whatever he had for lunch. If you have to, if they won't listen to you by voice, but trying to interrupt them when they're getting distracted into the world. And if they don't have a command for potty, it makes it a little more difficult. I always teach my dogs pretty quickly off the bat when they go pee. I say, good potty, and I reinforce it. And same with good, I say poop. When they go poop, I say good poop. So I can in the future direct them what I want to, to do. That hurt. He okay. clearly knows nothing about horses. Um, so I can direct them. So if you have that going, it's a little easier. If not, believe it or not, if, if you interrupt all the silliness, I'm not enough, being silly, Josh. They will go to the bathroom because you're you're interrupting the distraction. Now it may take time. It may take, depending on the dog, you may not be able to achieve this in just a day or two. It may take days. It may take, I don't know, in in some cases, a week or more. But you've got to be persistent. Is this horse love, or are they harassing me because they know I'm busy? I think it's cheese. That's what I figured. They're picking on me. Take advantage. They're always, yeah, see? See, and so, the things that I preach, I'm great with dogs, terrible with other animals, so don't feel bad. We all have to learn. Um, so, if, it's, if that's not the case, it's, it's usually a dog who is nervous or anxious outside. But either way, their mind is focused on something other than letting their nose kick into potty, but it's, it's natural. And so, on one end, Try not to overstimulate them. Don't good boy and good girl and let's go chase the ball. You know, it's trying to create as much of a habit, stop, as we can to let's go outside, let's potty. Let's get that as like one of the first things, but then let them have fun. Don't bring them straight back inside. The fact that they are going out overstimulated to what's going on in the environment to me is a symptom of there's a good chance your dog's not getting enough opportunity to satisfy that part of their brain. They're curious and they're bored and they want to know what's going on. They need to spend more time outside or more time outside potentially without you trying to exercise them. Let them just be dogs. I, I talk about this in other videos. There's nothing wrong with playing ball and throwing Frisbee and taking walks and exercising and, and play and all that good stuff. But sometimes they just need to do whatever they're inclined to do. Let them be dogs. And so other side is when we come back inside, pay attention. You can put their food on a schedule, you can put their water on a schedule so you've got an idea of how much they've taken in and you're paying attention to whether or not they potty. And so you've got an idea of what's going on. And I'm not saying you should always have to crate your dogs, but sometimes you have to crate your dogs temporarily to keep them from going in the house. You're trying to disrupt the habit. 